How's it going guys? Thanks for watching another video. So since moving out here to Las Vegas, I've been using my hard rifle case to go back and forth between the range and home, out to the desert to shoot videos, and it's becoming a huge pain in the butt. When I have multiple firearms in there, it's super heavy, it's very bulky, and it's really long. I have to angle it into my trunk because my car is really small. So I figured, hey, you know what? It's time. Get on Amazon, have a look around, see what companies are putting out really good rifle bags, and my three qualifications. Pricing has to be cheap, quality has to be high, and if it has a lifetime warranty, even better. I think I found my solution. Now I decided to go with Savior Equipment. These guys right here. So when you check them out on Amazon, they've got two bags kind of shaped like this. There's the American Classic and the Urban Warfare. That's what this guy is here. So it comes in four different colors. This olive drab green, you got FDE brown, obsidian black, and ash gray. There's five different sizes. So they're gonna range in price from about 60 to right about $90. They got 36, 42, 46, 51, and 55 inches. So they got a size that's gonna be right for you. Now, as far as material goes, this is made of 600D polyester, very common in outdoor gear like backpacks and chairs. The availability of colors is more. The strength and durability is where you need it to be. Now, if you're talking about military strength stuff, that's going to be like your 1050D nylon, your 1050D cordura. That would almost double the price of the bag. So this is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. Now, there are two types of 600D on here. The outside is backed with PVC. So that's going to give it its strength and its weather resistance. The inside is 600D backed with polyurethane. So I think this has got a lot of great features that we can deal with. Now, if you want to purchase the Urban Warfare or the American Classic, I'm going to leave links in the description so you guys can check it out. But let's have a closer look at the Urban Warfare. All right, let's talk about this front pocket here. The first thing you're going to notice is this massive area for Molly accessories. Each of these holes is laser cut, so you have plenty of room for your Molly accessories. And you have a huge hook and loop area up here for your morale patches. You got a nice cutout of the Savior logo. Throughout the entire bag, you're going to notice two things. All of these lanyard loops make it very easy to grab onto if you're going to be using gloves. And the thickness of the zippers, they're all double stitched in here. We're going to have a closer look at that a little bit later on. But that's a theme throughout the entire bag. These wonderful lanyard loops and very thick zippers uh, next you're going to notice these two front pockets here they're not very deep this way but if you want to know how deep they are this way they are roughly about eight inches now this pocket is also expandable it pops out roughly about oh about an inch and a half and what that does is it makes it very easy to access the inner pocket and store a lot of accessories let's have a look at the inside all right let me drop this drawbridge down here so you can see the inside of the front pocket and the first thing you're going to notice are these two massive accessory pockets. They're made out of mesh, so you can see what's in them. And again, you have the appearance of the lanyard loops. Now, on this side, I have three 30-round AK mags from KCI. I got some ammo on this side. Got some 22 in here and some 38 and some 45. And then back there, those are your two pistol pockets. So the Velcro up here starts from, I'd say, eh, right about here. And it goes down to right about here here right down in that area so whatever you put in there is going to stay in there until and you're ready to get it out and what you're going to do is grab the d-ring separate and if you're wondering how big these pockets are you can fit a full size 1911. Cool. before showing you the main compartment i'm going to slide the urban warfare over so we can have a look at these massive accessory pouches so there's one on this side and one on the other side and you got these nice buckles holding it down and you got Velcro on the top of the pouch as well on the bottom. And this is pretty deep. So what I got here are four 30 round AKP mags and two on this side. And I'm gonna flip these over this way so you can see that they fit in absolutely perfectly. Buckle it up. If you need to tighten it down, you just go like that and you're set to go. Let's check out the main compartment. All right, let's crack open this nutshell here. And the first thing you're gonna notice is when you open it, it actually opens up all the way. That's because the zippers go all the way around. Some other bad companies out there, when you try to open it, it kind of keeps that clamshell, so it opens up totally flat. Second thing, if you notice in here, this entire internal shell, as well as the external, as I mentioned before, is made of totally 600D 
polyester. And what that means is if you have a hot barrel and something touches in here, it's not gonna melt anything. So that is a super cool upgraded feature. You also have a full length divider. For some reason, they've seen some bags out there that the divider ends right about here. And that's crazy because if the muzzle pops out on one side, you run the risk of damaging the rifle on the other side. So it's a full length center divider and it's fully removable. So there's a very long strip of hook and loop here. You can remove it if you'd like to. I don't think I ever will. So you get a full length center divider. Now this is a 42 inch case. The AK on this side is 38 inches and it fits pretty perfectly. So if you're wondering how much room you have to wiggle, I'd say it's just about two inches. You got nice strong Velcro hook and loop straps here holding both in not necessary and you got this nice padding that runs all the way from this side all the way to the other side and both the front panel and the rear panel are fully padded so both of your rifles will be fully protected all right let's have a look at the three ways that you can carry the urban warfare but before getting into that i just want to show you guys these compression straps up here and what you're going to do is tighten this down and it's really going to squeeze the bag to keep the profile of the bag as skinny as possible and all you got to do is press and they unbuckle themselves so up here is a primary way that i'm going to be carrying the bag itself these are the pull straps on top nice hook and loop keeping it together now i'm not going to be using the shoulder strap much just because there's a d-ring here on this side and there's another d-ring on this side and they attach like this so that when you open the bag it's kind of hard to get the rifles out so you're going to end up unclipping one side anyway so i'm probably not going to be using this but as for the strap itself it's pretty nice it's padded it's got mesh on the inside that's there to keep you cool and i'm probably not going to be using it now the third way that you can carry this you saw me using it a little bit earlier are the backpack straps now the straps themselves are not very thick but they do have mesh on the inside to keep your shoulders cool nice areas here for like stuff like carabiners but like i said i'm not going to be using it much so what i will probably do unbuckle them oh there's a chest strap here as well you got these two zippers here that connect this one long pocket and it connects in this way so what i'm going to end up doing is just stuffing it in here to keep the danglage to a minimum so it stays out of the way now you also have these two drag straps here and they got nice rubber on them in case you just want to grab it and go and then you will be set to go and the last thing i want to show you guys is a close-up of the zippers and the stitching that you're going to find throughout the bag so these zippers are lockable they're going to interlock just like that and you can fit a lock right through there you got double stitching here on the outside and the inside very clean stitching on both sides and look how thick these zippers are so guys the quality on this bag is outstanding if you haven't heard of savior equipment don't worry they got you covered with a lifetime warranty once again guys that was the urban warfare from savior equipment so if you're looking for a bag that's got really good pricing super high quality tons of features with a lifetime warranty check out the urban warfare again the links in the description on the bottom if you want to purchase the urban warfare or the american classic guys that's the ending of my review hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give me the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.